Good morning, Mr. Buffett, Mr. Munger. My name is Jane Bell from Des Moines, Iowa. In response to an earlier question, you spoke of people being rich and very, very rich. It seems to me there's a difference between being rich and being wealthy. I assume you consider yourself to be both. Which is the more important to you? Well, I, I think you, you may, we, I, we may ask you to define, I don't want to sound like President Clinton here too much, but we may ask you. <laughs> I might want, if you'd really define the rich and wealthy so that I get the distinction, then I, I, I think we can give you a better answer on it. Um, well, in my mind, being rich is having an awful lot of money. Mm -hmm. Being very, very rich is having even more. And being wealthy doesn't necessarily equate to having a lot of money. Well, what does it equate to then? I, I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I know what you mean, but I, I, I still want you to clear it up before I give you an answer on it. <laughs> Well, this, of course, is my opinion. I mean, you could be wealthy in health, for example, and I, I agree with you that certainly there'd be nothing you'd value more than good health for you, you know, yourself and your family. But I, you go ahead. Well, I, I believe you're starting to get it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have patience. <laughs> no, I, uh, there's no question about it. I mean, being, the money makes very little difference after a, a moderate level. I, I tell this to college students that I talk to. I mean, they are basically living about the same life I'm living. Uh, you know, we eat the same foods. I mean, uh, I, that I can guarantee you. And, and you know, there's, there's no important difference in our dress. There's no important difference at all in, 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 in the car we drive. There's no difference in the television set that we sit there and, you know, watch the Super Bowl on or anything of the sort. There's really no difference in, you know, they're, they've got air conditioning in summer and I got air conditioning. They've got heat in winter. And, Almost everything, uh, so any importance in daily life, we equate on. The one thing I do is I travel a lot better than they do, you know, net jets. Uh, so the, the travel is, travel I do a lot easier than they do. Everything else in their lives, it just, you know, I, I'll switch places anytime. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, so the, then you get down to the things of, 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 of health and, and, and who loves you. I mean, that that's... And that, you know, there's, there's nothing, if you have a minimum level of, I mean, you want to have enough so that uh, you eat three times a day and, and that you sleep in reasonably comfortable surroundings and so on. But uh, uh, everybody in this room has that, and yet some of the people, by the definition that you've given, are obviously much more wealthy than others, and it's not measured by their net worth, if, if you define it that way. And I, I don't disagree with that definition. I wouldn't, I might not use the term wealth in describing it. But I certainly just, you know, maybe call it well-being or something of the sort. Charlie? <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> sure, there are a lot of things in life way more important than wealth. All that said, some people do get confused. Uh, I play golf with a man, and he says, what good is health? You can't buy money with it. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about Charlie's twin brother that he golfs a lot? <laughs> oh, I'll take health any time, incidentally. Yeah. <laughs> so will I. <laughs> no, the important thing, even in your work, I mean, is, is to an extreme extent, it seems to me, is, is who you do it with. I mean, it, uh, you can have... If you're going to spend eight hours a day working, you know, the most important thing isn't how much money you make. It's, it's how you feel during those eight hours in terms of the people you're interacting with and how interesting what you're doing is and all of that. Well, you know, I consider myself incredibly lucky in that respect. I can't think of anything I'd rather do, and I can't think of any group of people I'd rather do it with. And if you ask me to trade away a very significant percentage of my net worth, either for some extra years on, or being able to do during those years what I want to do, you know, I'd do it in a second. Zone 7. 